Imagine this, I'm standing out on a big parking lot and I throw a football, an American football, kind of the, the uh, oval shaped thing, and I throw it and it's spinning through the air because I don't know how to throw them very well in that cool spiraling thing, uh, like a rifle, uh, like a rifle bullet. I, I can't do that. So I throw it and it's kind of tumbling through the air and I've thrown it toward the corner of the parking lot, a specific spot in the corner of the parking lot. Do you know which direction that football will bounce when it hits the paved parking lot. No, you don't. And neither do I. It could bounce a little bit to the left or to the right. Now, let's imagine that you were standing right beside me and you threw a basketball at that same corner of the parking lot. And let's say we were both kind of decent shots. And we, we started it out in the correct direction anyway. Can either of us predict what is going to happen when the basketball hits the ground. Well, yeah, we can both predict with with pretty good degree of accuracy that when the basketball hits the ground, it's going to bounce and it's going to continue going toward that corner of the parking lot, provided that, you know, when you threw it, you didn't put any spin on it or anything like that. So you threw it, it hits and it bounces. And then we can pretty much make a good educated guess when it bounces again, which direction it's gonna go after that. It's probably gonna continue going pretty straight toward that same corner. Now, what about my football? It's a whole nother ball of wax, right? <laughs> a ball of string, ball of whatever. It is bouncing all over the place. It isn't going straight toward that corner. It might've gone left, it might've gone right. I don't know, you don't know. And so, the reason I bring up this ball throwing bouncing example is to talk about complex systems. And this is something that if, if you haven't read The Black Swan by uh, Talib, uh, Nassim Talib, I believe his name is, great book. And he mentions it in this book and you know, it's, it's other places as well. But the idea of a complex system is it's something that you can't predict. So if somebody asks you to predict where the football will bounce, you know what your best answer is? I have no idea, but you, we just, we have no clue where it's going to bounce. And if we try to make predictions, we're kind of being silly or irresponsible. It's just, there, there's no way of knowing where it's going to bounce. And society is a lot like that. Things social. Well, heck, starting a business is like that. You can think you know what's going on and you know what the traffic flow is on that road and, and you know what the rent is going to be and you know the rough employee cost and the rough cost of the goods that they're going to be selling or, or whatever for the service they provide. You can get a general idea of these things and you think it's a simple system. You think it's just a, a math problem, a business problem, but life is a complex system. And as soon as you set up shop, who knows if a huge competitor sets up right beside you, or if the street closes for three years for construction, or if the COVID panic hits, or something else that completely throws things off. Life is a complex system. Things social are complex systems. And so when somebody says that they want to do certain things to make a complex system uh, work well, they're going to plan out how it's going to work. They're going to centrally plan a complex system. That's just kind of crazy talk. The, the person doesn't really understand the complexity of the system if they think they can predict it and control it in that way. So when somebody says that wearing a mask, for example, is what needs to happen, well, how did they come to that conclusion? And, and assuming that they have the best of intentions, they probably got to it by saying, well, it, it is going to save lives. It is going to make more people live longer. That's their value. And maybe you share that value. Maybe I do too. On the other hand, maybe thinking about the example of a 90-year-old who's in poor health, but knows they're not going to make it another year and wants to go enjoy one final Christmas with the whole family. Assume they know that the whole family, everybody else has COVID and, and could give it to them. But he wants as his last thing, his last hoorah, he loves Christmas and he wants to spend Christmas around the people he loves. And this is kind of his, his 
Yeah, not a not the best probability he's going to survive the thing. You know, maybe only a ninety percent probability that he won't get it, and if he does, he, he he'll survive it. So that's a ten percent chance of dying is a pretty big probability, or twenty, whatever it is. But we can't plan for this person. We have a different value than they do. Their value is enjoying every moment of life and sharing it with friends and showing their family and their friends their big smile and seeing the smile of their grandchildren and great grandchildren and, and watching their his, his kids be such good parents to the grandchildren. That's what he values highest. That's what he wants. And so in this complex system called life, I would have absolutely no right. It would be so inappropriate of me to go to my neighbor's house and say, hey, you can't let your grandpa come here. He could die. Well, that's not up to them to choose. That's up to grandpa. And we don't know, taking this whole complex system thing further, we don't know all of the unseen things that could happen, the unintended consequences. When that football bounces in unknown directions, we don't know all of the bad that can happen. And there could be some good that happens also. We just don't know. We can't predict this because it's a complex system. And so I would just say that I will, I will extend the respect to you that I will not try to plan your life out for you. I, I'll give you some good ideas. I'll say, hey, if you if you value life highly and you see that somebody else might do something that would hurt your life, you know, stay away from them. Uh, I could give you that advice if you ask me, but I would never dream of calling you up and saying, hey, I have some advice to give and I know you didn't ask for it, but I'd like to give it anyway. Well, that would be a little bit presumptuous and rude and busybody-ish, Karen-ish of me. So yeah, no, I, I, I promise you, I won't do that. You you are a intelligent human being over 12 years old. You know how to evaluate risk. And if you get it wrong, you're going to pay the consequences. If I get it wrong, I'll pay the consequences. And thus it is. I'm, I'm really okay with that. And, and if I was the guy that chose to go to the, the big dinner party with grandpa and turns out he didn't get the COVID, but I did and I died, that would suck for me. But really, truly, folks, it's okay. It's okay. These things happen. There are risks in life. There are dangers. Should we really stop living? I choose not to, but that's my value. And you can't choose it for me. And again, I promise not to choose your value for you either, even if it wasn't a complex system. <laughs>